Just give me a moment. The fourth one. This is where some new concepts are introduced, particularly for IT, IT people who are not used to the concept of value streams. The concept of value streams, value chain, these come from the manufacturing industry. Companies like Toyota, I know from the 1960s, they have used these concepts of lean value stream and so on. As IT people, we are used more to terms like processes. So dimension four is about value streams and processes. This is more about, so far we have looked at people, organization, information technology, partners and suppliers, but we have never considered the activities and steps and processes and procedures and the methods and so on. So dimension four is about the activities, the processes, the steps to be done. For example, a software development method or a service development method or a service desk procedure, ticketing procedure, incident management procedure, all that request fulfillment steps. So this focuses more on the how the activities are performed, um, not on the roles and responsibilities. Therefore, it will has to connect to the, the people dimension also. All these dimensions are connected. Without these activities, the value creation will not happen, even if you have the other three dimensions. So let's look at this blue letter this is concerned with how the various parts of the organization work in an integrated and coordinated way to enable value creation through products and services it's about how different departments work together the dimension focuses on what activities the organization undertakes and how they are organized as well as how the organization ensures its enabling value creation for stakeholders so just to keep it simple it's more about the procedures and how those work together. Let's look at some examples to get a little more clarity. What is a proce procedures and processes? All of us know it's a series of steps. If there is an incident, these are the series of steps to take. If there is a request from a, a query from a user, these are the series of steps we will take to restart their password or to issue them a new laptop or whatever. But what is a value stream? Again, it's a series of steps, just like a process. But then it is much more than a process. It combines several processes. It combines several people, several teams, several departments to do something. You know, imagine you're calling, a, you want to buy a new car. You're going to call a number and say, I want to buy a new car. They will say, okay, ma'am, uh, sir, uh, please uh, take a test drive. Then they will give you a car, you will test drive, and then you will say, okay, what's the price? And then they will say, okay, uh, this is the pricing. And you say, okay, I will order one. And they will put the order to their factory or wherever, and they will send you a new car. So in this process, a lot of things happen. There's a salesperson involved, there is a shipment person involved, there is a finance person involved. So you see different departments are coming in from the time you ask for a car and from the time the car is delivered to you. So this entire process from the start to finish, from the time a customer makes a request to the time the request is fulfilled is known as a value stream. This is just one scenario. There may be other scenarios. When a user calls for resetting a password, it is one scenario. When a user calls with an incident, it is another scenario. When a director of a telecom company picks up the phone and uh, uh, talks to the owner of the service provider company and says, uh, we would like you to help us in migrating to the cloud. It's a bigger request. A whole lot of things start happening the moment that director calls up the service provider and says, I would like to have cloud services from you until the cloud service is delivered. So you see value streams are more complicated. They involve several procedures, several people, several departments. Therefore, you see value stream starts with a demand or opportunity. There may be some engagement, some discussions. There may be some high level planning, then design and transition, deliver and support, and then the product and service is delivered and value is generated. We're going to look at this a little bit more afterwards. For the foundation level, we don't really go into this much. And the, and the marks assigned for this is just 
one or two marks that's all out of the 40 so not to worry too much about it and meanwhile please take a look at this just give me a moment i'm going on mute I'm sorry, I'm back. So you have to know the difference, the definitions of value stream as well as processes. Look at the definition of a process, a set of interrelated or interacting activities that transform. If you see the word transform in the exam, it's about a process. Every process, as you know, takes inputs and converts to outputs. For example, if it's a service desk uh, request fulfillment, you will take a request, step number one, you will log the request and you will take action on the request. And the request will be fulfilled, so inputs become outputs. So there's a sequence as you see in this flow chart. Yeah, it can be more you know, complex like this, not just uh, what I just uh, explained. And, uh, and when we come back to the, the previous uh, one, just to refresh our memory on the uh, value stream, it's also a series of steps, but it doesn't mention about transforming inputs to outputs, but it takes, it's a series of steps an organization undertakes to create and deliver products and services. And the key word here is the combination. There are two keywords in the definition of a value stream, combination and the value chain activities. Yeah, so for now, please remember this, we'll look at what the value chain activities are and what the meaning of a value chain is uh, in a little while. So that was the last one. And yeah, this is where I would like to show you. Sometimes, you know, it's good to see the Wikipedia. That's my opinion for some simple things. Wikipedia explains what is a value chain. This is a company with their own departments. They have departments like uh, infrastructure, HR, technology, procurement. And uh, within procurement, they have all these, and then they have these other departments, sorry, marketing and sales, logistics, operations, and so on. So it's a collection of departments. This word value chain was invented by Michael Porter in 1980s when he wrote this book. He mentioned a value chain is a set of activities to deliver a product, which means if this company would like to deliver a product or a service, these different departments have to work together. Yeah. So the so there are they may be doing maybe 15 or 20 or 25 different types of activities. They have to define those different activities, um, and those collection of all those activities called a value chain. But when we pick up specific activities, then it is a value stream. So value chain is like the complete pool of activities, whereas a value stream is just a small number of those activities to do something. So a car dealership may have uh, um, uh, several activities, several departments, but they will have one value stream to sell a car, another value stream to service a car, another value stream for refunding money, another value stream for um, giving a demo to a customer, you see, each of these is a different situation and every situation different, uh, demands a different set of activities, different set of processes to be performed by different departments. So that's how we can understand the difference between process, value stream and a value chain. 
now you don't have to go too deep into this because then the marks for this is just one or two yeah so not to worry too much so i was talking about the dealership so now if you look at it value streams if you remember value streams are for different situations everything that happens to do something for a situation is a value stream value stream to develop a new application so hafifa when you are developing a new application you will have a certain procedures you may have uh, um, developers test people sometimes you may have to deal with finance people for budgets you may have to deal with logistics uh, if you are ordering hardware to develop the software so you see different departments are coming in for this value stream different procedures are happening for this software development value stream another value stream for upgrading an application another value stream to retire a software service another value stream to build a standard specification it site for a building if you want to have a new center a, a software center or a it support center or a new service desk then you will need the facilities department you will need the technical people it department you will require the finance department to do the budgeting yeah other suppliers to send you the to, to send you the materials the cables the furniture and so on so it's a different value stream respond to a user request this could be a simple value stream but again there is a human element here which makes it complicated challenging rather these are the traditional value streams not the it ones i took i took this example of value stream ordering a new vehicle patient going to a hospital it's a value stream diagnosing a walk in patient another value stream there's a difference between these two value streams so in summary again every value stream requires coordination of several activities and maybe departments different teams mm. excuse me so see all of a sudden we are introduced to lots of new concepts if you look at toyota corporation just to make it even more clear or any company manufacturing companies they make drawings like this they call them value stream maps they look at the they draw the complete picture of what happens from the time a customer calls up and to the time hundreds of things happens and the customer receives what they wanted yeah so having this is very beneficial because we know what are the the good things happening here uh, where are the the, the inefficiencies uh, which can be corrected so that the customer is satisfied now these are not there for the exam but this give more clarity in terms of what a value stream is which is built up based on several activities also known as the value chain activities okay with that uh, we are almost done okay there are some external factors here pestle remember the pestle factor p e s t l e they also influence these four dimensions so we need we should not forget that moving on so done the four dimensions and here are some questions 